Hi, in this video we will talk about conditional formatting. Let's click into the conditional formatting section and see what we're starting with. Let's imagine a scenario where we're trying to do a revenue analysis and in this case we have three charts where we're trying to tell a story. So the top chart we're looking at breakdown of, uh, of our revenue by country. We go to the right we're doing the analysis of our revenue year over year. So we're comparing how the revenue has changed this year versus last year. But this time we're doing it by company. And in the chart below, we're just training our uh, revenue in dark blue versus uh, revenue last year in light blue. The biggest issue with uh, that we're facing right now is although we know what the revenue was. I mean, we have a lot of information. We know what the revenue is. This year, we could uh, figure out uh, how it's changed by uh, country versus last year. We were looking at the trend, but uh, unless it's very difficult for us to um, to understand uh, where that revenue change was good and where that revenue change was bad. So what, what we would like to do is add another dimension to these charts so that uh, we're able to get a lot more information from them. So if I go ahead and click into our final, into our final report, we see that we've uh, done a few things. Number one is we've simplified this chart, right? We only have the current trend. And uh, we also see that our revenue by country and revenue by company have changed because we now have added color to those charts. So um, how does the color help us? Well, it helps us because now um, I can very clearly see in which countries. So um, the, the way these charts are done is uh, in, in the country where the revenue has come down, we um, uh, we color that country red and we do the same for the company and then we do the same for the month so uh, right now overall for the whole business uh, we have done more business each month however if I click on for example France here you will see that France uh, had a bad year so it's in red but actually started out the year pretty strong and then uh, it, uh, it started struggling uh, with respect to last year. Same thing for, for example, I have um, AOK, uh, this company called the Retail Everywhere. I can click on that and I could see that, okay, you know, first several months we did really well. Um, the last six months we didn't do so well, so we're in red. So overall it was still a good year, but the, last, the latter half of the year we didn't do quite as well as we did the first year. Let us see how these charts are set up so that we can see this uh, change in colors. Um, so uh, the way we do this is we go from our base setup, we're clicking on, we're gonna click on the file format. And then here for every chart, we will have data colors. So you will see that as I click on different charts, uh, all of those charts have a data color options. So I'm gonna pick my company chart, go into data colors, and then click on the function button. And then let me bring in the function. So let's see how this is set up. So effectively, we're, we're looking at the revenue year over year metric. And the way this metric will work is if my revenue year over year or, or, or dollar change, or this is year over year percent, if it's changed for more than 5%, so uh, I sold less, uh, uh, more than, um, my, my difference is less than five, more than negative 5%. Um, then I'm gonna color it in red. If I am between 5% and zero, uh, it's gonna be yellow and everything over zero. I sold more this year than, so last year will be green. And uh, we have colored all of these charts using a similar a similar logic. So as you can see, it's the same logic. So let's uh, switch over to our conditional formatting, the initial report, and see if we can 
implement the same. So let's start out by clicking our revenue country by country. So uh, the good news is we have three charts to practice. So hopefully by the time of this lab, you guys will have a pretty good practice on working with conditional formatting. So we'll pick our first chart, go into the um, data colors. And then by default, you see the colors are blue. So what we do is there is this three dots here. And as I said before, anywhere you see three dots in Power BI, that's an introduction to click because there is more options. So we're going to click and say conditional formatting. And right now you could say that this is going to cover color those um, countries based on count of country, which is actually quite a nonsensical measure. So we're going to pick the one that makes more sense. So um, in our case, we're going to click on the drop down and pick a metric that uh, works better. So in our case, so we could do two things. We could do revenue uh, last year, revenue year over year. So it'll give us a total number. So if I last year I had $100 and this year I do $80, then my revenue year over year is minus 20. Okay. So uh, we usually do not like to use dollar values because uh, I could have big divisions uh, or small divisions. So a 5% change for a big division would be millions of dollars, where a 5% change for a smaller division could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. So we want to normalize it to a percentage value. So usually when you do uh, conditional formatting, you will find yourself using some sort of ratio. So in this case, I will use my uh, revenue year over year metric. And uh, as you can see right away, we have two uh, options. We have lowest value and highest value. So when do you want to use uh, lowest value versus custom? If you just want to make it easier to see high and low in any range of values, you use lowest and highest. So if, uh, if I'm going to look into, let's say, my, my salaries, I have employees who make a lot of money or who make you know, not a lot of money. So if I just want to easily spot who makes more versus who makes less, then lowest value versus highest value is good because uh, this gets recalculated based on whatever is in my in my map. So if I if I'm looking at all employees who are making hundred thousand and more, it will apply the same logic. Or if I look at my employees who are making twenty thousand to fifty thousand, again within that range, highest you know fifty thousand employees will be green and lowest will be red, depending on how you color it, obviously. So you could click on a drop, drop down here to pick the right color. In our case, what we want to do is we want to have um, three ranges. So if I do very poorly, um, if the variance uh, is more than 5% negative, I want it to be in red. So I'm going to pick red. If um, I do as well or better, I'm going to pick green. And then I do need to put something in between. So I'm going to click on diverging and that gives me a chance to put the middle value. So we're going to put custom in all of these. And in this case, we're going to say, uh, because it's a percentage measure, so we're going to say less than 0 0.05. So anything below that for sure will be red then um, any, anything between 0.49. So we're going to have a little bit of gradient between 0, minus 0.05% and 4.9%, but it will be uh, barely noticeable on the chart. So, and then from minus 5% effectively to zero, it's going to be yellow. And then above um, zero, we will have green. So now I can click on OK. And you can see our fronts is now red again. So now what we could do is do the same thing for other charts. But this is where we're actually going to save ourselves a little bit of time. If you remember, we used the Format Painter before to carry out some of the formatting from one chart to another. Turns out that conditional formatting can also be copied the same way. So what we're going to do is pick our chart, click on Format Painter, click on our revenue by company. And now we see that all of our bubbles lit up in the proper colors. 
one thing that we've done is we've lost our company name. So to get our company names is what we need to do is we need to find this category button here and turn it on. And now we see our companies come back again. And if you want it to be a little bit brighter, you know, maybe give it a little darker color so it's a little bit easier to see. Now we're going to do the same with our trend. So now that we can conditionally format, there's really no need um, to show last year revenue. So we're going to go ahead and click on the chart setup, take out the last year revenue, and then apply this conditional formatting to this chart. And now the only piece that's missing, if we compare this screen to the one we're trying to do is this data labels here. So let's go ahead and add those to this chart. So again, um, I'm just trying to get you guys to practice making those changes as much as possible. Just click, go ahead and click on data labels and here you go. Now if I want to click into uh, big oil drillers, uh, I see how they lit up in, in red, uh, in green rather. One thing I need to do, um, you see how um, it grayed out the big portion of this of these bars. I want to fix that as well. So what I'm going to do is have this chart selected, click on format, click on edit interactions, and specify that when I click on this chart, I actually want it not to highlight, I want it to filter. So now if I disable edit interaction, click on big oil drillers, now I can see a lot more detail. So I could see that and this is um, actually very interesting, right? So by just looking at big oil drillers, you know, it appears that it's everything is going great, right? It's in green, it's doing much better this year versus last year. But if I click on it, then I see that actually there is some bad news uh, happening there. So for from January to August, um, I can see that uh, I was actually... My revenue was growing relative to last year and then the last several months, four months, revenue was actually dropping relative to last year. So if you're, sometimes you hear people call it the watermelon effect, right? So there is some green on the outside, but if you drill into it, you will find some red inside. And this is the kind of insight that conditional formatting makes it easier for us to discover.